Hi, it's Tony from PropMelt here. Um, just wanted to do a quick post today about uh, the lap tracker that we've been working on, uh, consisting of a T Box or a RX5808 Pro diversity uh, video receiver, which is a, a DIY uh, board with two RX5808 modules in there uh, running off an Arduino. Now Dan from PropNuts has managed to kindly put together uh, his own version of the firmware which allows us to access the serial information from the video receiver. What that allows us to do is to do some number crunching and uh, subsequently some uh, DIY lap, track, lap time tracking like the TBS receiver that you can buy, uh, except from this one is free. So as you can see, um, the video module now powers up. And uh, we can pick various functions uh, and search the channels. So let's uh, test this puppy out then. So some quick information about how this uh, project actually works. Um, plug it in quickly. Inside here is a, a normal video receiver. Um, there's two modules, one on each side, and two antennas. Um, and part of the information that uh, comes from those receivers is the RSSI for the video signal, so the receiver uh, signal strength indicator, uh, which basically tells the tells the Arduino uh, how strong a video signal each of those modules is receiving. So now this is how your your, your diversity modules on your fat chart goggles or or your sky zones actually work. Um, now what we're able to do with this information is um, we can detect peaks and troughs in the signal. So when the signal is strong, it means you're, generally means your quad is close by, um, giving you quite a strong signal. And when it's farther away, that signal strength drops. Now, being able to detect the peaks and troughs uh, and the time between the peaks and troughs, um, then you're able to calculate the effect of lap time um, if you're passing over the receiver when, when it's close by. Um, how this receiver works, um, it calculates RSSI using into its Arduino. There's a Bluetooth module inside here which you can't see, it's hidden away. Um, and that information is transmitted to a laptop. Now, on the laptop, we have programmed some custom firmware um, software on uh, an open source platform called Processing. And through that, we're able to calculate uh, lap times based on those peaks in the signal strength. So um, let's go over to a quick demo where we will plug in uh, my X210. Um, and we can simulate the passing of the quad by the receiver um, just by covering up the antenna with my hand uh, which reduces the signal enough to trigger the lap timing. Okay now here we can see uh, the quad on the left powering up and on the right is the software which you programmed. Um, the graph there, the purple, shows the actual RSSI signal coming from the receiver in the background and the white line is, is a filtered version of that data um, to remove the noise. Now, as you see, when I cover the antenna and reveal the antenna, we get peaks and troughs in that signal. Now you see now when I release this antenna uh, at about this point here, um, that elapsed time goes back to zero uh, and you can see the time was 18 seconds between those two peaks. Now if we try it again, you can see now that lap was 10 seconds effectively. What else I'm showing here is um, the minimum lap time is set to 10 seconds, so if we peak between that 10 seconds, it doesn't record it as an additional lap. Now that's uh, all there is for this demo today. Um, it's still in early days, but uh, we're making good progress on it and we'll soon release um, an update to show you how you can make your own. 
Thanks again.